Hello, Gail. Hey, good morning. So we got an encore back in the day, our first, very first encore, and we found that it worked well with the Sylvia. The higher end, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and we were surprised and delighted by that. But then um, we <laughs> got a new demo, <laughs> yeah. and we're like, oh, were we wrong? Because it doesn't work with yeah. the Sylvia. And we were getting people's feedback, too. It didn't work. Yeah, so, so. we wanted to talk about how you can um, recalibrate yep. it. Okay. So I've got it down on zero right now, and I'm going to show you what the grind is. Okay, so this is the finest it'll go at this point. And that's 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 like pressurized portafilter. Yeah. You're, that's yeah. not that's not for traditional extraction. No, not for a Sylvia or rocket or anything like that. Okay. okay. So So you're going to need uh, a flat blade screwdriver helps and then a little baby zero. S super tiny. Super tiny. Take the knob off the side. Take the bean hopper on. All the way, rotate it counterclockwise. Take the rubber, uh, this keeps the ground, grounds from going down in here after they're ground. Okay. Can take the top burr out and see the orientation of this red mm -hmm. and the orientation of these two tabs here. Okay. If I turn those tabs, that whole ring, that's the adjustment ring, that's actually taking it coarser. Oh. Or finer. Finer, finer. okay. So it's got to be in oh, that Oh, you mean coarser because we were just as fine as it went, right? No, I already took it over to the coarsest oh, to get the lid off. Oh, got it, you okay. You have to take it over to 40 to get the lid off. So you, when you put it back together, though, this has to be in that finest position. Otherwise, the lid won't go on, or the burrs won't go in properly. I Not see. Not the lid, the burrs. So there's two tabs, one here and one here. And you're going to take your screwdriver and, you're and going to gently maneuver gently maneuver that up. And then you're going to try to keep this side up while you do the same thing to the other <laughs> side. And the other side's going to, ah, good. What do you know? Nice. First time around. Lift that lid off. Looky there. All right. <clears throat> okay, so. This is the micro switch that actually, when you turn this adjustment ring, engages the switch so you can actually grind. Mm -hmm. When it's in this position, it will not grind. Keep That's because of your fingers. Mm -hmm. Now down here, as you can see, there is three slots. And this side, with the screw in this side, this is the coarsest. We're going to move it, the ring this ring in orientation to this ring over to here. Now, and Gail, that's the finest. So, so in their diagram, they were like, that's the coarsest area, then there's the neutral one in the middle, and then yep. there's the finest. Why is it that, like, they're not always, the screw isn't always put in the same place? Is it just a manufacturing? Manufacturing. They just yeah. randomly put it in, put a screw, move on, that kind I of guess. thing? I guess. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I can't, you know, attest for why they do what they do, but this one was in the coarsest spot. We should have mm -hmm. looked at that other one. I don't think we ever did. It's we gone. didn't, mm -hmm. yeah. So it's a little teeny screw. Okay. You take the screw out, and then you are going to... Try and get a close up on here. Yeah, I might have to have more. Can you hold this flashlight on there so that the folks can see? Or Gail, no, there yeah, let me do all the work. No, don't. I got you, baby. No, don't no, worry. Here, yeah, don't you worry. He's right. Yeah. So I'm going to hold this ring and see that hole in there? The yeah. screw hole? Mm hmm. It's going to go around to the other. Whoa! Alrighty, folks. <laughs> we'll use this screwdriver. Where'd it go? No, oh, I got to find it again. It could be a challenge. There we go. All right, I went the wrong way. There's the screw hole. It's in the center position right now, the neutral position. Now I'm going to take it over to this position here. And this you can see it's right there. Now there's two holes, though, right? You want to take the first one over. You don't want to take the second one over. That would be too fine. Okay. So now it's right there. I'm going to start the screw. Where did that screw go? <laughs> Uh-oh. It's right here. You lose the screw, you are, you know what? <laughs> You're not screwed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, 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 oh. This is a very delicate process, yeah, ladies and steady gentlemen. Hand. Steady hand. Well, evidently I don't. Can't tell if it's exactly in the hole. It might not be.
Jeez, <laughs> I don't usually have this much trouble. There we there go. go. Okay. So once it's tight too, and then I can run it over the the rest of the way. There, like that, and then tighten it. Don't over tighten the screw. It's only going into plastic. Okay. So you could run the risk of uh, stripping, stripping it. it out. Okay. Yeah. Put the micro switch back on. Make sure you do that. Keep these orientation at uh, 12 and 6. Mm -hmm. Put that back on. Slip the lid. Now, I would take a brush to all this, but you know what? We have a brush right here. <laughs> yeah, I'll do a little extra cleaning on the side. Well, you know, you don't want that all inside mm -hmm. the machine if you can help it. This could be a, a great time to get uh, a little canned air into the mix, huh, Gail? You could. Mm -hmm. Take it outside. Mm -hmm. Pop the lid back on again and see it snapped back to where it was. Okay. Now, if you recall, let's clean this off a little. The red was at, at about 5 o'clock, and as you rotate it, you feel it go down into a notch. Okay. Put the rubber gasket back on, and it has two notches. Mm -hmm. One notch for this, one notch for that. That's what keeps it up there. Your bean hopper has one thick uh, nub sticking out and mm -hmm. a thinner one. Mm -hmm. Correlate those here. You won't be able to get it in if you don't have it right. Here's that micro switch making its noise. Okay. Okay, now I'll get some beans. All right. I'll switch back on. We'll be right back. Yep. Okay. Let's see what she does. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's clumping even a little bit. See? Feel. Oh yeah, it's way powdery. Oh, it's way powdery. -er. And that's -er. down at the uh, at the one zero. notch up or yeah, zero. Let me see. Yeah, that's about as low as it went last time. So you can see that's much finer. Considerably. Yeah, you could use this for espresso. Okay. So if you pick yourself up an encore, you take yeah. it to the finest. It's not working for your espresso machine. Calibrate. Follow it. this process and you should be good to go. You should be. And then if you're not, well, you know, maybe your coffee. You might want to look at your coffee. Yeah, that's stale. another thing to keep in mind is um, uh, it's either stale or just the type of bean could be that, you know, because, you, you, yeah, this works for espresso machines, but the you're soils. really down at the very edge of it. So Yeah, it's not meant, this machine is not meant to be doing really, really fine, you know, grinders. Well, they did design it to, yeah. do, to be an espresso grinder. They so. did, they did. But you're really working down low, down here, yeah, you know. Yeah, you're at the so, bottom end of what it's going to do. Yeah. Yep. So you don't have a lot of room to move. Well, I'll pick up my tools that I flung across the room. <laughs> cool. All right. Thank you, Gail. Yep. You're welcome.